So today, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a specific card, but I have another little something to show you. And I think that y'all are going to like this if you like Disney. So, and I think you might like Disney for uh, what I'm going to suggest that maybe we will all work on uh, for the next month. So first, just let me show you uh, the, the, the site I wanted to show you. So, all right, I gotta move this camera. New share. All right. Oh no, this isn't what I want to show you. Wait, I don't want to show you that yet. Hang on, just a sec. Uh, this is what I want to show. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you see what's on my screen? These Disney princess clip art. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you about. I've not seen this site before. Maybe you guys have, but I've never seen this site. It's called DisneyClips.com. And if, you're, if you have access to your computer, go to DisneyClips.com. And I want to show you everything that's available in here. It's crazy neat. Uh, if you go to Holidays... Of course, all of the Disney clip art is set up by holidays. Okay. And notice, I want to show you something. Where does it say it? Somewhere on here. Let's see. Maybe I need to go home. <clears throat> uh, well, somewhere on here it says it's free to use for personal use. So I don't see that right there. That. It said if you use it for um, anything. Um, like a group or something if you just mention their name that's all they well they don't you know they don't. yeah okay so like for example all these holidays but ah oh, wait a minute so what i wanted to show you also was like if you go to these other options television look at all these shows from back in the day even chip and dale which tammy you said your dad loved chip and dale right Oh, he loved Tom and Jerry. Oh, Tom and Jerry. That was it. Tom and Jerry. Great. Right. Right. Anyway, you'll see all of these things that are available here for us. And I think it's just a fabulous site. I'm so excited to have found it. So let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Had you seen it before, Carmen? I hadn't. I never had seen this site before. I'm so excited to find it. So you can go to movies, too, and look at this. Yeah, it does. Look, look at these movies, 101 Dalmatians, Aladdin, Alice in Wonderland. I mean, this is fabulous. I just, I got so excited. So anyway, this is our secret, you guys. Just don't spread it around the world. <laughs> this is just for us. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go out of this, and I'm actually going to go back to my... Um, Sometimes this junk up at the top is in my way. I'm going to go back to my silhouette. Because what I'm going to do, actually what I'm going to do is this. Sorry if I'm chattering to myself. Advanced content from the second camera share. All right, what I'm actually going to do, and I probably, oops, let me do this out of the way. What I'm going to show you how to do today is make a shaker card. And most of you, like I said, have probably made them, but let me tell you why I'm going to show you, show you how to make a shaker card. Tammy and I came up with a plan, and we thought it was really fun. Uh, let me move this. <laughs> let me move that camera out of my way. Y'all don't know, but I have all these buttons up here at the top of my screen that I'm trying to mess with, and my camera right there is always hiding them. So I'm going to go back to my basic, and I'm going to go to this again. But I want to do one more thing, and that is, sorry if I'm not making a lot of sense. Hang on. I will in a minute. This is what I wanted to get to, this one right here. You see where it says cards for kids? I don't know if you've ever heard about this site before, but let me see what it says on the About Us. Oh, it's, it's trying to get there. Okay, 
This is their mission. Cards for Kids is an organization dedicated to uplifting the spirits of hospitalized and or traumatized children across the globe made by delivering inspiring homemade cards. Now, they do recommend that you don't like say, uh, get well soon or hope you're feeling better. We're not supposed to mention anything about them being ill or sad or depressed, anything like this. This is all just for us to be able to encourage them somehow. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think they even have some samples in here of the way you could do it. There's a little how-to section, um, how to make the cards. They even suggest like getting together as a group and making cards. But I don't know about you guys, but so many times I make cards and I'm like, okay, well, I really like this, but what am I going to do with this thing? Because I don't send out that many cards. So I thought this would be a terrific thing. And the great thing about this particular one that we found is they actually not only send things to kids, but I'm pretty sure that they also send things to nursing homes or different places like that. So, yeah, great. Excuse me? They even send it to the uh, uh, women's, you know, uh, domestic violence shelters and stuff. Right, yes. And I just think it would be fabulous. And this is what I was thinking, and I want you guys as your input. I thought if each one of us could just commit to making 10 cards, they don't have to be anything fancy. They can be just print and cut. Um, I think that we could really send them a lot of cards I believe they even have a map somewhere that shows everywhere. Let's see, helpful information, participants. I see it. They're all they're they're in all countries too. So like, <laughs> right. if you're not in the United States, and and you know, just like you, Steph and 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 Tracy, they have their address in your country too, so that you can send it there. So, you know, you don't have to do the out of country shipping. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So the okay. thing is, too, you do not have to send an envelope with your cards because they just deliver them personally, hand to people, uh, to the kids or to whomever. Um, but here's the map. And if you go over, y'all can see. Oh, let me see. Can I scroll in? Toggle. Oh, there we go. So y'all can see all the countries that they send Maybe. these cards Maybe. to. Maybe. Is someone saying something? I can't hear that well, so. <laughs> so, I mean, a lot of these little guys right here, I think that these represent uh, Ronald McDonald houses too, that they send to. So you can click on these different ones and see where all they're sending uh, the cards to. And I think it's just, I think it would be a fun thing for us to do, at least Tammy and I thought it'd be fun because, uh, if you make a lot of cards and you're like me and you're like, what do I do with them? Uh, this, it gives us a fun thing. So yeah, I'll give you the website in just a, Oh, the website is card cards, C A R D Z for kids.org. And then if you click right here or somewhere, it shows their current hospitals. It was amazing how many hospitals there were that they give to too. I don't recall where I saw that now. Special card. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's... Anyway, um, somewhere you can, you, can even, uh, huh? you can even, if you have a hospital that's not on the list and you would like it to be, you can even send that and they'll add your hospital to the list. Right. And here are the current hospitals, and you think this is all there is, but if you scroll, keep scrolling, you can see that actually there have been hospitals that I'm familiar with right here in my area and where I grew up. And so you might want to scroll through here just out of curiosity to see, some, see if there's any place near you. Yes, it's cardsforkids.org. Correct, mini pad, iPad. <laughs> mini iPad. Tatiana, is that what's inspired you to do the shaker card? Because I think it would be lovely to do interactive cards or animal shaped cards, things that children could really relate to. Right, that's what I was thinking. And I'm going to show you one more thing. Let's see, I don't know if you're going to follow me along. To my, yeah, you are. Oh, gosh. Wait, how do I find it? 
there's a group of ladies. Oh, I could probably find it from their Facebook page. Hang on. This is their Facebook page that I'm scrolling through. I'm specifically looking for this one little group of ladies that I think make really cute cards. Oh, they're called the card ladies. Here they are. So these, this is a little group of ladies that makes cards all the time for cards for kids. And it's, it's can you see that? Yeah, that's sweet. Okay, yeah, they have like, they make cards for the same organization all the time too. Anyway, I just thought that'd be a fun thing to do. And so let's get back to our card making. If we can, let's see. We'll, we'll put the website, the Cards for Kids website, on in the Facebook group. Right. So if you have trouble finding it. I know somebody, I don't remember now, said it, but said they couldn't find it. Really? Yeah. Oh, she yeah. got Mary Kay got it. All right. Okay. Doesn't pull up. Minnie Pat, are you the same person as Mary Kay? <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go once again to this share down here. And so this is some of the stuff I was playing with yesterday because I've never really made these things before. So I was just trying to figure out how to do it, driving myself crazy. So this was one I, I was kind of making because I thought that'd be kind of cute because they could hang it up somewhere. That's not what I'm gonna demonstrate today. Oh, uh, here's another one. And these little guys I was getting were from the um, website that I just showed you. So I just thought these were cute. So remember, they're gonna, they'll tell us, you know, not to put get well soon or anything like that, but something like that could be cute. <clears throat> okay, the last one that I made yesterday was this one. And I really kind of like this one because Buzz isn't um, da like glued down. So he can move around too. As a matter of fact, I kept making them upside down accidentally, and a kid could kind of play with that, trying to get it the right way. No. Yeah, shaper cards, Carmen. I've never made them before, so I was working on it yesterday, and I just thought this is all I was what I was going to show today. And if you've not made them, this might help. If you've made them, eh, get your card making stuff out and make some cards with me. So let's go. These are some of the supplies. Oh, I wanted to show you too. If you don't like making cards, you know, or you don't think you have much stuff, um, you can get these really inexpensively, $2.99 at Tuesday morning if you have one of those. And these are already like ready to go cards. All you do is rip them out, fold them in half, and they're ready to ready to go. And they have all different colors and kinds. And that's where I got this little polka dotty one that I thought might look cute. And uh oh. So, this is what I was going to put on this one and put him in here, Tweety in here. Isn't that cute? Yes. And a little saying. And you remember how I showed you how to make um, little sayings that you can print out on your Cameo or on your Cricut? You don't have to have a stamp pad. Just print them out. And actually on this one, I just wrote it out because I didn't want to have to print anything else out. I was done for the day yesterday. So. So let's see. I'm going to show you how to make a circle one like this if you'd like to make something like that. So let's go back up. Look at my notes. I slopped some fingernail polish remover on that. Anyway. Okay. Let's go back up here. Basic. And back to my silhouette. Okay. So here we are at silhouette. Oh, you just bought some acetate. Cool. Yeah. Um. And two, another thing too, um, I've seen, you know, been watching a ton of videos on cards for months now, but um, when you buy something and you know how it comes in packages and it has that, the acetate on it, like some of it comes in as be a bubble, like the, the products under it. So they make it so it's a big bubble. You can use those too. You can recycle those and use those instead of if you don't want to go out and just buy it. Just just always remember when you buy something to take that plastic and save it. Oh, and yes, this is just an option. You don't have to do this at all for these 
10 cards I'm hoping you'll commit to making. Uh, you can just, you know, make them very, very simple. A print and cut, which is Tweety Bird or something like that on the front of a card with a nice little slogan, anything, something quick. And like I said, don't, probably don't do Christmas. Oh, and I'll show you. I did write to them, or I'll just tell you. Let's see, what did they say? I wrote to them, and I asked them, let's see if I can put that. Gosh, oh, this box is going to kill me at the top of my screen. Okay, so I said to them, I said, uh, uh, we have a group who is thinking about making cards. I was talking for y'all too. <laughs> Can we make Christmas cards or just general uplifting cards? Should they all be child focused? As I see you also sent to nursing homes, I think. And they wrote back like right away and said, thanks for reaching out. We prefer that people make winter cards rather than happy holidays. So that, that way our partner locations have more flexibility in terms of when they can hand them out. So that makes sense. And if they get like an unexpected donation of gifts right before Christmas, they'd be able to hold on to those cards and deliver them in January when their patients really need them. Um, also, we do serve disheartened children as well as solemn seniors. We're also looking into expanding into a couple of VA hospitals as well. So I said, please let us know if we have any other questions. So, okay, let's get back again to this. Okay. So when I made my card, the first thing that I did, and if you're not from, I'll pretend like you're not familiar with making cards. So the first thing I did was I just got a box, a rectangle over here. You can do this in Cricut Design Space, this part too. Uh, actually, you could probably do the next part. You just wouldn't um, uh, offset it. But anyway, I made the box, and I came over here and drew it. And then I came up to the top and changed its dimensions so that its width was 8.5, okay, and its height is 5.5. And what's perfect about that size, and you can make them any size you want to, if you look on that website, you'll see some kids made some that were really, really, really <clears throat> big. So whatever you want to send is fine. Okay, so then the next thing I did for this one was I came over to this uh, drawing line tool, clicked on just the line, held down my shift key, came over somewhere near the center, and drew a line. Since I'm holding down my shift key, it's pretty much, it stays straight other than going at, uh, what is that, mm, I don't know, something angle. <laughs> All right, so up, oh, so you got to let go of your, uh, Gotta let go of your shift key. So shift, drag it. Gotta let go of your mouse first and then let go of your shift key so it doesn't get jumped to the wrong place. So then I was just gonna, I grab both of these and I'm gonna center it by coming up here to this place up here and it's centered. And if I was gonna cut this out on my Cricut or on my uh, Cameo, I could make this piece right here a dash line for a score line, but there's no reason to cut this out unless you're going to put text on here, which you can do as well. So maybe I'll leave it like that for now. Let's just group this together. All right. So the next thing I did was I thought I'm going to make an oval again. You don't need to make an oval. It's probably even a lot easier if you just make a rectangle or a square, some other more angular shape. But I'll do the circle again. I'm gonna come over here and draw one so it's gonna fit on here nicely. Like that. And I think that'll fit on there just fine for the outer part. I think I'll color it. I'll just make it red like the other one. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an offset for this. Now, if you look down here, let's see. I have any little tiny ones up. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Okay, let's see. I have any down here again. 
again, advanced. Okay, so if you look down here, these are some of my mess ups from yesterday. So I made this rim really, really skinny because I thought I was going to like the look of it a lot. And it turned out like this. But I ended up deciding I really want to make it a lot bigger like this because it was so much easier to work with the materials that I have. And the materials that I use is this foam mounting tape. That's all I have here at home. That's what I decided to use. Maybe you have like a long strand of foam and that would be easier. But I just have these. So this is what I've used. And so since I used this, when I went to go put it on the back of this piece, like this, it wasn't very easy. I had to really cut those pieces into like fourths to get them to fit and not show. So that's when I got smart and I thought, you know what? I'm going to make this outer rim a half an inch wide and it'll make it so much easier for me. So that's what I did there. Go back to my shear. Okay. So here I am at my circle again and I'm going to make the offset now. So I'm going to come over here to the offset panel, which is the star with a little offset around it. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on the shape I want to offset. And I'm going to do an internal offset. And I'm going to change it instead of this default one. I'm going to change it to 0 0.05, which is a half of an inch. And that's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to move the card out of the way for right now. So now all I did was I grabbed both of these and I came up. I think what I'm going to do first, no, I just came up here and subtracted. So I got to go to this modify panel and subtract. All right, so that's my outer border that I want. Perfect, just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, hold down the Alt key on my keyboard so I could duplicate this. And now I'm going to come up to Object and release the Compound Path. And I'm just going to weld this together. So basically I'm back to where I was to begin with. Now. What I'm going to do is, this is for my black. I used black on mine. This is going to be for my acetate. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want that to be exactly perfectly up matching like that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do an inner offset on this. So I'm going to go over here to the offset tool. And maybe there's easier ways to do some of these things I'm doing. This is just what I found that worked yesterday for me. So I'm going to do, I'll click on that internal offset. And I'm going to leave it as the default and say apply. And I'm going to take, whoopsie. Then I need to go ahead and I think, uh oh, subtract. Nope. Oh gosh, for some reason I forget what I did next. Hold on. Z, Z, Z. Okay, so that's the internal offset underneath there. So that's the size I need. So I can just move this thing off and I can just color this one. I'll make it uh, silver since that's the acetate. So as you can see then, what I do is just, put, I will be gluing that or taping that on the back of this piece okay so let me go back and show you what i did because i'm probably doing this in a little bit convoluted way but it works so i have this one for my black piece the frame this is for my acetate i don't want it to be exactly the same size because i don't want my little shaky fingers to go ahead and get it offset or whatever off centered so i'm going to click on this and go to offset internal offset just like that say apply and then i can just take this one my original get rid of it 
and click on this one, come up here to the upper left hand corner and change its color and that will be my acetate. <laughs> All right. So the next thing I'm going to do then is just bring you down here to my desktop and maybe I'll just cut these guys out actually. So I'm going to move this off of here. I'm going to put the acetate one on my right hand side of my mat and my black on the left hand side. So I can do them both at the same time. Move my phone. Okay, move some stuff so I have room to work on my table. All right, let's see. So now what I've got to do, I'm going to go to send up here in the upper right hand corner. And basically it will be the same kind of thing with your Cricut machines. I'm going to change mine to co cover stock heavy. Okay, for this one. Well, let's go to line. And I have no idea why that says punch marks. That's their new thing to show you where to weed at, remember? Yeah, but they just put that. This is the first day it's ever shown up, but I think I had an update this morning that made it show up. <clears throat> <laughs> but I don't want any punch marks. Let me go back for a sec. Send. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so I don't want this, this, this. I'll uncheck everything to begin with. Then first one I'm going to do is this red one here. So I'm going to change it to heavy cardstock and leave it just as it is like this. The acetate, on the other hand, I have really, really, really heavy acetate. I bought it for another project. So I am going to change that one. And let's see, can I change it now? Yes. I'm going to change it right down here. First, I'm going to change its speed to three. And I'm going to change its pass number to four. All right. And then this one, on the other hand, I'm going to change its speed also to three, so it gets done a little faster. Okay, so let's come down here. Get both of those checked. And let's share my table down here. All right. So here is my mat. So where's the top? There's the top. I have this black cardstock. This cardstock that I have here is the thickest cardstock I swear I've ever used. Uh, I got this at Joanne Fabrics. It's called Park Lane. It's really, really thick, and I like it that it has a solid core, so there's no white that's going to show. But it's really thick, and that's why I have it on that heavy setting. So I'm going to put that on the left-hand side of my mat. And then on the right-hand side of my mat, I have this car acetate that's thicker. I think I might need to cut some off. So get my cutter out. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to cut it off at six inches. So I have this little handy cutter. I always like to start with the blade at the top. I don't mess up as much. Have that flush up there. And just cut it down. There we go. Okay. And free, feel free to chat amongst yourselves there and chat while I'm doing this so you're not bored stuff. Okay. So these are ready to go. I'm going to put them in my machine. And I will just go back to my screen. All right, we're back at this screen now. So I have the black on the left-hand side and the acetate on the right. And I'm going to say, uh, send it. 
little bit nervous. Okay, send. <laughs> All right, there's my machine. So I've heard some people like to put little cutouts like I'm gonna do in mine that I got from that Disney uh, site that I showed you. Also, some people like to put glitter. Now, I've never used glitter. And another thing that a lot of people like to do is before they put any of their elements in their shaker card, they take either a dryer sheet or there's some other product that you could buy that you can rub on the acetate sheet in case of their static electricity. But I haven't really noticed that on mine. I didn't have anything to, to rub on mine, and they're fine. They're not sticky. So just a thought if you only need to do it. <laughs> but the machine is singing. Sounds like Save Willie. <laughs> I can't even hear it that much since I'm deaf. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking for my components so I can put that one together. By hand. Somebody was saying, it was Ken from Ken's Creation, was saying that he missed the sound of his piano. He likes that sound. It's not irritating. <laughs> All right. So while we're waiting for that one, I'll bring you back down here. That's okay. Oh, you've had a lot of electricity in your hair. Ah. Yes, you can. Cut out many at the same time. Okay. So I'm going to go to... Well, guess what? That's already done. So I guess I can go to that one. All right. So let me share my other screen again. All right, <clears throat> take this out. Bring this off my mat. So here's the part I need. Now, obviously, this is going to be good for something else. So I'll save these. This is the part I need. Right? Oops, the acetate's still on there too. There we go came out perfectly so the first thing that you do if you're not familiar with making these this is my frame this is my acetate obviously what I like to use is one of these ATG guns if y'all make a lot of cards and you don't have one of these you might like to invest in it I just love it oh, yeah it, it's definitely a, a change in thing when you get the gun instead of trying to glue everything together oh yeah and see, I can just hold this thing down and hold the uh, trigger in, and I'm just going around in a little circle here. Yeah, at first I was trying to hot glue yesterday. Boy, was that a mess. I think I threw those away. You know what? Okay, so I'm going to put this down like this. So the first piece that you're going to do is you're just going to set it right down on top of this. Flat. Like that. And press it down to make sure it's really sticking well. Okay, so there we go. So if I'm gonna put this on this card now, this is when this tape comes into play. And so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. I already have one done. But what I do is just take this tape and start putting it around, making sure it's not gonna show on the other side. So these are too fat, too thick too wide so I do cut them in half so this is a little bit time consuming but you know what if you're watching TV watching a movie watching a Netflix chick flick whatever this is something fun to do it's easy no brain work involved and I think they turn out super cute so so I would finish this whole one going all the way around and I've already finished one so you don't have to watch the whole thing so let's see. So I'm going to put this on here. Hey, wait a minute. I can't put it totally on there yet, right? If I put it on there right now, just like this, I can't put all my stuff inside. So I got to get my stuff I want to put inside, which would be Tweety. And then I didn't know what to, I had here at the house to use. So I actually, oh my gosh, look how pretty that looks because of the green screen, because this tub is green. I actually have a whole bunch of um, 
what do they call sequins? And this ribbon shouldn't be in here. Bunch of sequins that I could use. You can buy sequins by the bag. I just had them like this, and I'm not going to go buy anything special for this. I want to use. I want to use up what I have. So I'm just going to pick out some colors to put in here. I don't know. Since this is for a kid, they probably like all the colors. Probably don't have to worry about it being coordinated. So for these things right here, and these I got, I think, yeah, from Hobby Lobby. This a whole big old thing like this, a lot, is a dollar ninety-nine, but of course you, we're always on sale. So I have to cut off this little edge right here so that they slide off easily. So I just start, let's see, I'll put them on my card. Just start sliding them off. This again, you have to kind of take one or two at a time. And pretty soon when they will no longer slide off, you might have to cut off some more of that thread. What, wait, what'd you guys get? Oh, Amazon, yeah, I love those guns. Fabulous. I think a lot of people do use them. May May uses it, I think. Although she uses that art glitter glue a lot too. I'm just not very good with wet glue. It always bubbles up and looks ugly on my stuff. Well, it's really expensive too, as far as you know, um, saving money. The uh, I think the glue gun. I, I meant the uh, tape. Right. Is less expensive than the art glitter glue. Yes, the art glitter glue is expensive. Huh. Or she she says it lasts a long time. Right. And then that one guy, where's he from? The one that does all those fancy uh, something tree. What is it? Dreaming tree. Yeah, dreaming tree. He likes to use like regular. Is it Scotch brand glue? Scotch. He uses Scotch glue. Yeah. Which uh, surprises me because ugh, I don't know. I have a hard time. Do you guys use glue? Use art glitter yeah. glue. Uh, Do you carbon, does very it very ugly? I love glitter glue too. So less okay, so it doesn't make big ugly bumps or anything. Wow, y'all all use an art glitter glue. I might have to invest in some and try it. Did you get the real small little nozzle? Does it come like that automatically? I don't know. Yeah, challenge. No, Terry's not the one that you. Small nozzle is great. Okay. I have it, but I don't use it. Yeah, Terry. I have it too, Terry, but I, I've hardly ever used it. I, 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 just, I used to use just a little uh, tacky glue. That's all I ever used. And then Eileen's or whatever her name was. Yeah. And I put it in one of the little bottles, you know, that I got. From that. Right. The nice, the nice thing about the art glitter glue is you can slide. It gives you a little more leeway when you're gluing things on a card or whatever. If it's not the exact spot, you can, you have time to just slide it a little, and it does dry extremely clear, and there's no bubbling. Okay. Well, that's good to know. All right. You think I have enough of those on there for now? Oh yeah, that's cute. Okay. Oh, did I forget any? I forgot gold. And little kids, you know, I believe the more glitter and more stuff you put on these, they'll probably like them better. The okay. tip has it. You don't need the nozzle. Oh, I thought you had to buy the nozzle. Huh. I know May May has a little thing that she puts in hers to keep it stopped up so the glue don't get up in the top. A pin or what? Yeah, it, she. It, I guess they sell them that it's kind of like a little pin on the end of it, and they keep it stuck in there so hers not. Okay. Okay, so that's that, I hope. And then I'll put this on here. That's going to be good. So now all I have to do is take all these little uh, pieces off of here so that I can stick this down. And when I was putting this on, the foam, the sticky foamy stuff, you need to make sure there's no gaps so that your stuff can't come sliding out, especially if you're using glitter. So I've not tried glitter. I got some out just thinking I might try it. 
Do you think I should put some of this in it? Yay or nay? Sure. I, I wonder if that's the stuff that they worry about making an ugly mess if you don't use the dryer sheets or. Oh, could be. I don't know. Here's the. Hey, Carmen said be daring, Patty, and use it. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I did not do anything special to print and cut Tweety. Matter of fact, when I'm done here, I'll go back over there to that site and I'll show you. Oh, well, I did do something special to Tweety. Yeah, I added an offset to him. I did an offset of 0 0.05, pretty sure. I just like a little tiny offset because he's got little teeny she it <laughs> has little teeny tiny hairs up here and those would not have worked well at all so it, it worked out perfectly with the offset and terry wants to know why not put a back in on tweety and glue him to the card um i could have put a i could glue tweety to the card but i want tweety to be able to move as well and on some of them, like on this guy. Oh, she said not Tweety, all of it. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. It's a shaker card, Terry. She, the whole idea is to get that stuff so when the kids shake it up or anybody moves it, it shakes up and down. When I made this one yesterday, I did make it double-sided. I don't know what that funniness shown is. But anyway, I made it double-sided. I thought it'd be kind of cute. Yeah, it could be a tree ornament or, or anything. I mean, and I mean, this one would have worked better, but all I stuck, all that's between these two layers is uh, the double sided tape. So there's not enough leeway for these little things to be able to move. So they're kind of stuck. Uh, she was talking about double sided. So, in other words, you would want her to have a hole in her card and make it a window. So that uh, it will be on both sides of the card. Is that what you're saying, Terry? That's a good idea, but I'd have to try that. That'd be another day of me testing things because I don't know how well that would work, but that'd be really cute. Matter of fact, wasn't it on the first on the first ones I had the word hello was printed in there. Oh, this yeah, one I made very first. I thought, well, that's kind of boring. It needs something in there. It made it too boring. So then I put friend, but that didn't help much. <laughs> oh, but I jazzed it up with a different color of cardstock around, but I thought made it a little bit better. Ooh. Anyway. The well, first honestly, shake, the first shaker card I ever made, I actually stuck the image uh, with sort of raised up, and then all the things that were shaking about got stuck to it underneath. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like my days. <laughs> Another one I did, I put glitter in, and the static of the acetate stuck to it, so you couldn't see through it properly. <laughs> I just noticed something. Nails are like orange looking because I just took my nail polish off because it was so bad and I didn't have time to put new nail polish on, so they're all stained kind of orange. So ignore my nails, they they're, not, they're not smoker nails. Okay, I'm gonna put this on here. Right? Oh, wait, Carmen told me to be brave, I gotta be brave, put a little glitter in there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm scared, bad enough, probably. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. Oh, I hope that, you know what, though? I make sure the glitter is not where my stickum is going to go because that'll probably make it not stick right, right? That's my guess. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I like it. Okay. Good choice, Carmen. The glitter works perfectly. Look how pretty. Oh, somebody's going to love getting that. And then I had made this. This is one of those, uh oh, stuck. One of those little slogans I had had made before. 
I could even just put something like this on here. You know, pop that up like that. You know, I'm like, isn't that cute? It is. Little kids, I mean, kids will have fun messing with this, really. It's pretty easy. Anyway. And, of course, obviously, I don't need to make this black. I don't need to make any of these colors the same. I like it. I like yeah. it a lot. <laughs> And I really like the glitter in there. Okay, I'm getting really excited about this one. <laughs> That's so cute. I like That's glitter. Cute. Oh my gosh. And I think this guy, is that a girl or a boy? Does anybody know? I always thought he was a girl. But... I thought she was a girl. I always thought so too. She thought she saw a pretty cat. That's <laughs> right. Oh, I, I did, I did see a pretty cat. Yeah, oh, I love this. Okay, let me go back over to that site now and show you what I did do to get my Tweety Bird in case you guys want to go over there and get something to, to mess with. And again, like I said, you don't have to make the shake a card for your, if you're going to say you could do maybe 10 cards. Just do anything you want. And, you know, some of your cards that you think are your little duds. See, I kind of like that. I like the, I don't know, they're both cute, I guess. I want mine to be the best. You want what? <laughs> I want my cards that I send to the kids to be awesome. I want them to be the best I can. <laughs> okay, there you go. Cool. I mean, really, truly, you could even do a print and cut, you know, like this, and just this be your card, I bet. Yeah. You know, the little girl was holding something that big, you know, yeah. in the picture. Right. And they do uh recommend that let's see let me go back i think they recommend that you sign it with your first name and say where you're from so oh yep that betsy just asked that yeah let's go back to that site do share i think this is going to be fun share oops not that one that's not what i wanted that was where they wrote back to me um let's me too jody i don't have people that i send a lot of cards to so, no either, but I, I love, love that. I, hmm. I don't sell stuff, so I, I, I just do it because I want to, and then you end up with stuff all over the place. It's like, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I know, right? That's me the too. same as me. I don't want to sell anything. I'm not into that. But Completely off the subject, but have you guys heard of Dresses for Africa? Or I have, and I've made some of them. Little dresses for Africa with the little ties yes. at the shoulders. Yes. My husband's aunt, she's been doing it for years. She, um, she's been a seamstress for years. You know, she's retired now. She's in her, she's in her eighties, but she still makes them. I really need to retire. I want to play. I need to play. <laughs> Who was that saying that? That's Jody. Oh, that was Jody. Okay. Yeah. I need to play. So these are all the people that have, that give cards. And I was surprised to see, you know, that Google has a little pile of people. Uh, now that Huron, that's the one that they make stuff to make cards, right? Everything. Yeah, Huron, whoever it was up there. I can't quite hear. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. Uh, no, and that Huron, they, they make stuff to sell that makes cards. They make card stock and stamps. Oh, oh, okay. But I was surprised too that there's a bunch of sports teams even that do this. And so they just must get together. If you look in this site, you'll see where people get big brothers, big sisters. But anyway, hey, if anybody out there knows how to make a logo, I, if you would make a logo for us or me, and we could put, we could send in our logo so we can you know, get on here and we donated so many cards. Yeah, we can work that. I don't know if anybody can do that kind of stuff. I can't. I tried to go online the other day to see if I could make a logo, but I don't know. Anyway, so what was I coming here to show? Oh, no, I was going to go to this again. Yeah. So, let's see. Am I on the right page? Are you seeing the Disney stuff? Yes. Okay. So, let's say, I don't know. Does anybody have a suggestion? Tinkerbell. There's so many Tinkerbells everywhere. Now, some of these, you're going to find some of these images are really good and some are not. So, and we're learning how to know which are which. So I'm going to click and look at, there's three pages of old Tinkerbell to boot. 
all different stances. So you may want to have one that's more long than wide, just a guess, like this little wand might be a problem. However, you might want to put her on the outside and have something else, you know, of your frame, and then have something else on the inside of your frame if you want to go to a lot of, you know. Or you could just add the uh, wand. That would be really cute to add a little sparkle there. Oh, that's yeah. really cute. So anyway, let's just pick one of these and see if it's a good one. Okay, that one looks like it's going to be a good one. I clicked on her. I'm not sure. I think if I just right click on her and go copy image and then come over here. It comes in black. I tried that. I think, oh, did you try it? on some? Yeah, of them, see, and then on some of mine, it seemed like it did it. So I'm going to try this. Oh, I can show you a bunch of them I have. Look at this. Look how many cute ones are. There's that one. Look, how cute for winter, they said. Oh my gosh. Cute. We still see Tinkerbell. Oh, darn it. Let me get you back. Thank you. You missed all my pretties. <laughs> Studio share, screen share. Oh. She is cute, Tinkerbell. So let's go back to. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And there she is again skiing. And there's a, the, the whole group I was thinking might be. Oh, I love that. Yeah. My problem is I don't, oh, that's nothing. My problem is I don't know what to make them say. Because remember, we're not supposed to say anything about, uh, you know, get well soon or hope you're feeling better or just, you know. So if you guys can think of some little slogans. Well, when it's a character like this, if you just Google what they say, you can see all kind of things they say. Oh, that's true. Like you told me what. Mm -hmm. Buzz Lightyear says, to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Wouldn't this one be cute? I don't know how good it would be really, really small, but I thought this would be really cute in there, swimming around in that the is cute. sequins. And I this one, too, is swimming around in the sequins. So anyways, let's go back over here. And if I right click and say paste, let's say, yep, I turned in black. So I wouldn't do it like that. So let's go back to this guy, girl. And are you back over here? You are. Yes. You? I'm going to go to right click, save image as. And once you save her as something, save Tinkerbell 3, it's named. Now, if I come back over to this and go to file and open or file and merge Tinkerbell 3, she should be my last one down here. Uh, close to it. There she is. And now she comes in just right. Oh, why? Well, it says my internet connection is unstable. Uh oh. All right. So you see her, right? So the next thing I all I do is I would decide. Well, I could probably put the offset on her first. So I come over here to the right, open the offset panel, click on her to highlight her, offset. This would be a regular offset, but I make it 0 0.05. Oops, five, because I don't want it really, really big. Uh-oh, this isn't going to work. You guys know why. Watch, apply. Look where it put the offset on the box. So you know what I need to do. I need to come over here and trace it first. Open the trace panel, select the trace area, trace it, and up my threshold. Oh, I can up it way up because I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and say trace and detach because this is a print then cut. Trace and detach. So. Even though I can't see anything in here, I know there's junk in here. So I'm going to highlight the junk I really can't see and delete it. And now she's ready. So now I can offset her. Go to offset. Oh, I got to click on her. Offset her. 0 0.05. Enter. I always make my offsets white. So there she is. And I'm going to group it now. And now the thing is, I want to check and see how big uh, my little circle is going to be for my, on my card. And this is just a matter of how big a card you're making. So you can just do like I done, had done in the beginning. Make your rectangle for whatever size card you want to make. 
cut it in half so you know which half you have to work with, and then make her to fit in there in your circle or your rectangle, or you could do a heart. You can make any shape you want to for your frame. So that's pretty much that. And another thing too, what I have done, like on one of them, I didn't really care for the colors that they had, uh -huh. so I just went ahead and turned it into an SVG and made it the colors. I there, yeah, that's a good idea because it made it more vivid colors because I wanted it to, you know, be bolder, <laughs> and you know. So. Um, Betsy, you're talking about maybe when you have your rectangle like this, let's say that's my card, I'll change it to white. So you mean, and I'll send it to the back. So you mean just to put her on this side right here and have her as your card. This is an easy peasy way to do it, you guys. Perfect. And then you can Well, I just, I sometimes make it the whole card, you know, like you reverse it. And and put a little tab to connect them maybe and okay, then okay so so a giant card. Card, then what like she would do, card she would I'm come sorry. over here and come over to uh, the replic no yeah replicate panel and then she could just mirror it to the left so she'd want to have a way to connect these this will probably be a hard one right because of her wings that's yeah that's cool. probably a little harder but um, yeah. But anyway, that's what you would do for that. And then this would fold and the card would be actually the, the shape of the girl. And then of course this part here, you could just make white. And this would be the other. Let's get one that would work easily in case people don't know what we're talking about. Let's see, do we have one? In, oh, why do I keep showing that? Oh, oh. oh gosh. Oh, you could do cool. To what? I said you could do poo, but it's football kind of being the way. Buzz would make one. Right. Actually, that's, actually, that's what I did too. <coughs> oh, but you know what we could also do? We could make her at the hook her at the top. Yeah. So what I could do, right, is I could click on her and say mirror above, I think. Yeah, then yeah. I bring these two pieces together. I think I would send this one to the back. See, this is the kind of stuff I mess with and try to figure out. So this piece right here, then I would just change it to white if I can, can I? Oh, no, you know what I needed to do first, right? I needed to, uh, offset or not offset it i need to come over here trace it select the trace area hopefully i'm not going too fast if you're trying to figure out what the world i'm talking about so i have mini here I'm gonna trace her upper threshold just uh, trace and detach and there she is there's a bunch of junk over here get oopsie over here to get rid of delete so now what I can do is I can click on her, come over to replicate. Okay, Mary Kay, thank you. Good. Hey, Mary Kay, if you think of a way that we can like keep track of how many cards we're sending in, that would be fabulous. So everybody be thinking of that. I'd love to make like a little graph or something so we could see as we send in cards, you know, our little chart going higher and higher. I think that'd be fun. So keep that in mind, you guys. But anyway, now I would just uh, go overhead here and mirror her above, select, make them touch. I'd probably change her to white now. So, and then I would actually group these together. Okay, I think that would work. So my fold would be right. Actually, I don't like it like that. What I would... Hmm. I'd have to play with this, you guys, but this is a way that you could do it. You'd fold this in half, and maybe Betsy knows a good way to do it. To make it like a rectangle, just a, a narrow rectangle. But oh, okay, that's right. Okay, so she recommended this. Good idea, Betsy. I'm assuming that was you talking. <laughs> so she could put a narrow rectangle 
all the way across maybe or not like that I think it's maybe I don't know if I'm doing this the way you would something like that and send it to the back and send that to the back okay and then you put those on there like that and of course it would be white that would be white that would work perfectly and the that full will be right in here right so anyway that's just another thought of something that you can do but again yeah. score line there too you know what score line yep you could put yeah, a score, put a score line. line on it so it could be adorable so again, the only thing that I would do for this thing is actually before I did any of that jazz I was just talking about, and this might have actually solved our problem. If I had put the offset on here first, what if I offset this, offset it, yep. and I'll just leave it big like that, and I'll change it to white. Got to group it. And I hope I got it white. Yeah, there we go. And now if I duplicate her above, this is going to work now just like this, I think. If I come over here to the replicate panel, uh, mirror above, then I could probably pull these two girls together almost, right? Almost works perfectly. So all I need is one little spot right here to group them together. Cool. All right, I'm excited. Okay, so if you guys, anybody have any ideas of how we can keep track of what we're doing? And I'm hoping that most of you are, would be in on this. Yeah. You can definitely take pictures of you in the cards that you've made. Oh, that's a good idea. So that you can share them with the group. And, you know, because you can send them straight there. You don't have to, like, send them to anybody in the group you can send them straight to the address right so it, if you take a picture of yourself and the cards you made and we could keep that on file you know i could we could make a folder and put all that in there. And that, <laughs> that would be fun so i think that maybe oh. i missed the very beginning of the of the call with the Disney, are we just sticking with Disney or is it just because you found that awesome site? Oh, no, we're not sticking with Disney at all. No, 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 no. That's okay. just, I just wanted to show you guys that site. We're not sticking with that at all. Do anything you like. Who? Yeah. I, and that plastic, I just threw some stuff I had, it was the packing, you know, and, and it's like, I never even thought to keep that. How super perfect. The trash man, has the trash man already come? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he has it, you can dumpster dive. Honey, you know you are evil. I don't. I don't want to vacuum this morning. I don't want to go to the grocery store. I just want to go back into my craft room. Sweet. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Dust be damned. Yeah, all right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, Donna. Why she wants to get a logo so that we can all use the same logo, Patty Ann's place. To then, so they'll know it all came from our group, right? And we can actually put ourselves there in the participants. I think that'd be fun. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I don't know if those ladies are in this. They might be. I don't know how many they give. But like, if there's <laughs> just <laughs> part of coffee cup has got to be in there. <laughs> what? A coffee cup has to somehow figure in your logo. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah uh let's see anyway i just think this is going to be so much fun i'm so excited to have a reason to make my cards now because like we've all said we make them i have a box full of them over there what the heck do i do with these things so yeah okay cricket stuff comes in the acetate too oh i didn't realize that so oh. this foam tape that you just had because when you took it out i was looking at it's round and it would be perfect for our shaker card because it gives such dimension to that, you know, you'll have more room right? without having to use a lot of foam because it'll already be propped up. That's true. Well, like I said, now don't feel that you have to make shaker cards. I think they're a lot of fun. I mean, there's, oh, oh hey, Tammy, do you have your picture of your card to show right quick? Yeah, I do. Tammy made the cutest card. 
This is the one she spent all day yesterday on stuff. <laughs> it takes me all day to make one card. That's sad, but it's true. <laughs> all right. I don't know how. What do I have to sh stop sharing? Yeah, I'll share my screen. Wait a minute, let's see. Stop share. Okay. No. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> I love my tweet bird. This okay. is it right here. It was real easy to make after it was made, but it took uh, a little time. Can you see it? Yes. Spirit. Can you make it bigger? Yeah, see, Tim looking in at Weenie. It's called a shadow box card. I can love you, Weenie. Can you make it bigger? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah, there's so many poo ones. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Hey. Really hey. Hey. Yeah, the background. Barbara noticed the embossed background also. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought maybe that would look like snowdrops. Maybe. <laughs> the little white, the dots, I used it. Yes, that's cute. It's real easy, easy to make. Um, you just take two of your um, your cards, and of course you cut your circle out. But these are uh, your score lines is one a half an inch and an inch on each side. That's it on both cards, on both pieces. And then when you, when you put it together, you want to take the half inch together on each side, and it just makes it. You have dimension, you know, and they can. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I guess. I love now that one. Doesn't even have acetate, right? It just it doesn't even have that. Acetate. There's no acetate on it. It's just Dude, look it's, at that. That's adorable. Great, Nidra. Yeah, I'm hoping everybody will join. I'm thinking. I bet a, I bet we can at least have ten people. I bet more than that. But if ten people join times ten cards, hundred cards. Good, good, Carmen. Carmen's going to copy you, Tammy. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So you said it's a half an inch, two a half and one inch. The okay. Four marks are a half an inch and one inch on each side. Yeah. And really, that's it's to it. The other thing is just putting all of whatever you want on there. I, I can tell you another thing too that um, is real interesting and fun to do. Say you want something to be floating in there, you know, you can take a strip of acetate and glue whatever that is to the end of that and glue the acetate on the inside and whatever that is is going to stick out, but you can't really see because it's on acetate. You know? So it makes it look like <laughs> Super cute. I love <laughs> The box almost. Pardon me. Uh, is it almost like a box? I can't really see from the picture. Oh, it almost is, but she said it uh, folds flat in case you do want to mail it. Yeah, okay. you can just fold it flat and then pull the sides and pull it back out. Gotcha. That is so cute. <laughs> Thank you. What are the glued on? But like I said, I made. Uh, I made my uh, both of them characters into SVGs so <laughs> that I changed the colors and make their colors what I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. And then, of course, I used the gray yeah. from the stars. <laughs> Connor's awake. <laughs> Y'all <Yeah. laughs> hear noise? <laughs> Roxanna wants to know if there are directions for that kind of a card. Prop um, oh, if you just write this down. I, I I'll write them down and put them on the Facebook group because it's real simple. Okay. And maybe, you know what I should do, Tammy, also uh, send it out in my follow-up email from Patreon. So those uh -huh. that are in Facebook, they'll see it too. Okay. All right. Yeah, maybe you could send me that a picture. Yeah, I will. Okay. I guess that's it. It's 11 something or other. 11.10. So, uh, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And you're going to join Tammy and me in making cards for all these children, uh, and other people that they send them to. And, you know, as you take, as you make cards, if you could take a picture of them or you and them 
and uh, keep a tally of how many you make. And when you go to send them, let me know so we can keep track of it as well.